The custom of numbering, which the English Football Association first condemned, has now evolved into one of the most iconic things one can associate with a footballer. Fans eagerly anticipate learning the player's assigned jersey number whenever a team makes a new signing official. This shows how much weight these figures have been given. The money made from jersey sales is a big topic of discussion in today's football world. The functions given to the previous Chapman squad numbers started to shift as new formations emerged. Since the 1950s, the number 10 has been kept exclusively for the team's top performer. Positionally, this number was linked to a second striker who was eventually designated as an attacking midfielder and, in some formations, a trequartista. The finest footballers to ever grace the pitch have worn the number 10 shirt, regardless of the position. In light of that, let's examine the top athletes who have ever donned the number 10 shirt during their brilliant careers. Francesco Totti You think about Totti when you hear about Roma. Francesco Totti, known as the gladiator of Italian football and the golden kid of Rome, wore his loyalty to AS Roma on his sleeve throughout his playing career. Totti has participated in a variety of intriguing formations, including false nine, trequartista, winger, and pure striker. Whatever his position, the Italian has always thrived for his childhood team anytime he wore the recognizable red shirt. Totti left a lasting legacy at Roma and is sure to go down as one of the greatest players to have donned the famous shirt. Roberto Baggio Italian Hall of Famer Roberto Baggio, 1993's recipient of FIFA's World Player of the Year honor, requires no introduction. Baggio, often known as Il Divin Codino or the Divine Ponytail, had a fruitful career for both club and country. In addition to being one of Italy's finest goal scorers with 27 international goals, he has more than 200 Serie A goals to his credit. When Baggio played for Juventus, Inter Milan, and the Italian national team, he wore the number 10 shirt. He played as a second striker or as an attacking midfielder throughout his career. But as luck would have it, despite his immense talent, he will always be remembered for his missed penalty in the 1994 World Cup final against Brazil. Michel Platini One of the finest playmakers the beautiful game has ever produced was the Frenchman. Along with his ingenuity, he was one of the best of his time due to his prolific goal scoring. Platini, who wore the number 10 position, excelled at Saint-Étienne and Juventus while also contributing significantly to France's victory in the 1,984 Euro. From 1983 to 1985, the Frenchman won three Ballon d'Or awards in a row. In 1999, he was named French Player of the Century. Platini will always be recognized as a great leader on the football field and a masterful midfielder who could create works of art. Ronaldinho Throughout his career, Gaucho had a variety of jersey numbers, but his best years were spent with Barcelona, where he wore the enduring number 10. A whole generation looked forward to the slick, flamboyant midfielder, who also helped the Catalans usher in a new era. He was able to captivate football fans with his elasticos and no-look passes because he possessed all the tricks in the book. He won the World Cup with Brazil in 2002 and was named FIFA's Player of the Year in 2004 and 2005. Throughout his professional career, Ronaldinho did not consistently put up 30 goals or have a superb work ethic, but the delight he gave when he had the ball at his feet made him one of the most adored athletes of all time. Zinedine Zidane It's hard to find the right words to describe an enigma like Zinedine Zidane. The Frenchman was as elegant a footballer as one ever saw and was one of the best attacking midfielders of his generation. His pirouettes were a piece of art, while his goal for Real Madrid in the Champions League final against Bayer Leverkusen in 2002 remains one of the best goals ever. Alfredo Di Stefano once described the former Real Madrid great, he makes it worthwhile going into the stadium. Such was the aura and elegance of the man who sadly ended his career with a sending off in the 2006 World Cup final against Italy. Pelé To play like Pelé is to play like God, reportedly said Michel Platini. The Brazilian, the first footballing megastar, captivated the world's attention with his incredible wizardry and superb goal-scoring performances. He wore the number 10 shirt for Brazil, who he helped win a World Cup record three times. The offensive prowess of the Brazil squad, which included Pelé, is still unsurpassed by any team since. Brazil is sometimes recognized as the greatest team in history. 
Pele earned the moniker King of Football thanks to his incredible goal total and trophy collection. Diego Maradona Maradona was more than just a football player. He saved both his nation and the teams he played for, Boca Juniors and Napoli. Maradona was a one-man army who was able to become one of the greatest players the world has ever seen. He scored a lot of remarkable goals while wearing the number 10 shirt, including the goal of the century against England in 1986. The Argentinian superstar was a brilliant trequartista with unmatched dribbling, a typical number 10. The number 10 jersey was retired by Napoli in honor of their best player. He has secured a spot among the greats of the game because to his vision, goal-scoring prowess, and legacy. Lionel Messi The Argentine might not have played in a traditional number 10 position in his career, but he embodies the fundamental idea of having the number 10 on the back. It is said that the best player in a team usually wears the coveted shirt and who else is slash was better than La Polga. Many detractors have said that Messi can be considered the best of all time since he does have a World Cup to his credit but one just has to look at the statistics and the sheer volume of trophies before achieving World Cup that he has won to see why he is so brilliant. One Spanish commentator put it quite simply and rightly to describe Messi after he scored a magical goal, say thanks to your mothers that she gave birth to you so that you can see Lionel Messi live. Thank you for watching I hope you enjoy and as always don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more amazing videos. Tell us in a comment do you think Messi is the best player in history before winning World Cup 2022 or even with World Cup 2022 Pele is still the best player in the history?